so far of uh, making the educational transition between college and university. Um, I'm going to outline some important points such as my strengths, my weaknesses, and uh, just exactly how I'm coping with an alternate form of education to that of the one I'm used to. Um, I'm going to discuss what I've learned so far and how I plan to develop my skills over the next semester and the coming years. My strengths, beside the guns obviously, are that I can be a very lateral thinker. I enjoy the approach of thinking outside the box and normally once I'm involved in a task or project I commit 100% into, uh, into completing it to the best of my ability. Um, I also enjoy trying to put a unique stamp on things uh, and I think it's worth putting the extra effort because if something's worth doing it's worth doing properly. I can be very easily distracted. I've actually drawn on the graph to show you how I spent the majority of my day. This is an area in which I feel I must improve on. Um, and over the past week, I've been uh, making an effort to ensure that my, my work environment is as clean as possible, keep my desk tidy, because that's the kind of thing that will distract me. I'm, I won't be able to crack up with my work until it's tidy. Um, other problems of, uh, with living in halls is that there can be a lot of distractions. is with my uh, comprehension when uh, when reading. Um, I'll find that I'll read a full chapter of a book and by the end, by the time I'm finished none of the information is stuck uh, which will result in me having to read over it another one or two times. Um, not that this is a massive problem but it can be quite time consuming and this is time that's being wasted as it could be delegated towards um, other tasks. Um, I think this could be due to the fact that I'm coming back at 26 years old and I've been out of education for quite a while. Um, so to combat this, I maybe think about taking some uh, comprehension exercises, um, uh, skills for learning exercises to see if I can help develop myself in these areas. So far I've experienced multiple new challenges. Um, for example, the concept of completely independent study is something that I found quite difficult in the beginning. Um, However, since the weeks have gone on, I find myself getting the hang of it now. And this has been partly due to the fact that I've invested, um, invested a lot of time in creating myself schedules, um, which provides me with structure to my study. Um, I've also been creating action plans, which uh, allows me to set myself goals and aims, something to work towards. By creating personal reflection sheets on a weekly basis, I've been able to view the areas in which I can already see improvement. Um, We've recently started work on a group project, so it's been uh, it's been essential that I put some work into my to enhance my communication and interpersonal skills. Um, I'm happy to say that now there's a real cohesion amongst our group, and we're well on our way to completing our task ahead of schedule. One way in which I've been monitoring my uh, development is with Enterprising You. Um, it's been an extremely helpful method of self-evaluation. Um, the multiple tasks that the website has to offer allows for me to demonstrate my ability in different areas um, that will be extremely important in helping to mould me into a, a strong team member and a, a confident presenter. In conclusion, I feel that I have started to improve in multiple areas whilst at the same time obtaining some new skills that will no doubt help me to complete my course this year. My aim is to continue as I've started and constantly try to improve myself in all areas. If I've learned anything this year is that if I set my mind to it, I'm more than capable of passing this course, just as long as I keep my focus and engage in the process. Thank you for listening.